Hello, are you ready for another story? Tonight is another detective book, and it is a chapter book. Cynthia Ryland, and it's called The High Rise Private Eyes, The Case of the Climbing Cat. Ooh, do you see the cat back here climbing? I wonder if these are the detectives. Here we go. Might not get all the chapters done today, but it says, in a high-rise building deep in the heart of a big city live two private eyes, Buddy Brown and Jack Jones. Bunny is the brains, Jack is the snoop, and together they crack cases wide open. This is the story of case number 002, the case of the climbing cat. So it's Bunny Brown and Jack Jones. The Case of the Climbing Cat. I wonder. Here's the chapters. Chapter one is The Balcony. Chapter two is The Case. Chapter three, Clues. Chapter four, Solved. Chapter one, the balcony. Oh, there's Bunny. Now remember, she's the brains. So she's very smart. Bunny liked her balcony. She tried to get Jack to sit on it. No thanks, he always said. Oh, come on, says Bunny. Not in the mood, said Jack. Oh, come on, said Bunny. Nope, said Jack. Look at, she's talking on her telephone to Jack. She's got a cute dress and flowers planted. It's not that high, says Bunny. It's 22 stories high, said Jack. Well, just pretend it's 21. <sighs> Are you hungry, asked Jack. I think it's lunchtime. Are you changing the subject, asked Bunny. Yes, said Jack. Here's Jack, he's talking on his phone and he's in a chair. He does not like to go up high. I'm going to order Chinese takeout, asked Bunny. Oh, I'd rather have Mexican, said Jack. We'll get Mexican if you sit on my balcony, said Bunny. Boy, Jack said, I sure could go for some chop suey. So he doesn't want to go on that balcony. He wants to order Chinese food from the China Garden takeout. Here's the China Garden. Oh, and look at Jack's carrying his bag of food. And there's Bunny. Let's see what it says. This is chapter two, the case. Bunny and Jack got Chinese takeout. Then they went to Jack's apartment to eat. Jack lived on the ground floor of the high rise. Do you know what the high rise is, you guys? Esme, do you know? It's a tall, tall building, really tall, like the big, tall buildings downtown Minneapolis and the big down castle-like buildings downtown Las Vegas. If you're afraid of heights, why are you living in a high rise, asked Bunny. I'm not afraid of heights, said Jack. Then why won't you sit with me on my balcony, asked Bunny. She was practicing with her chopsticks. It's chilly, said Jack. Oh, here they are. It looks like they're eating with chopsticks and watching TV. Jack, it's 94 degrees outside, said Bunny. I'm delicate, said Jack. Ha, said Bunny. Could you pass me the... Oh no, thief! Uh-oh, look how big the word thief is. What is stealing something? Something is gone. What could it be? They have their food. The yell came from the hallway. Somebody in the hallway yelled, thief! Bunny looked at Jack. Jack looked at Bunny. Our lucky day, said Jack with a grin. 
Miss Nancy, the piano teacher, was in the hallway panting. What's up, Miss Nancy? Asked Jack. There's Miss Nancy, the piano teacher. I wonder what it is. Somebody stole my binoculars, said Miss Nancy. Where were they, asked Bunny. On my balcony. Don't you live on the 20th floor, Miss Nancy, asked Bunny. Yes, said Miss Nancy. So she lives in this building way up here. I can't count all the floors, but she lives way up high. And somebody went on her balcony and stole her binoculars. I know you girls have binoculars, don't you? To look at the stars and the birds. Bunny looked at Jack. Uh-oh, Bunny said. Jack pretended not to notice. Then why are you down here on the first floor, Jack asked. Because I chased him down the steps, said Miss Bunny. Said Miss Nancy, sorry. There's Miss Nancy, she's very tall. So she chased him down the steps. Chase who? asked Bunny. The cat, said Miss Nancy. The cat with my binoculars. Where did he go, asked Jack. I don't know, said Miss Nancy. He ran around the corner and disappeared. <gasps> so we know it's a cat. There's Miss Bunny telling this, or Miss Nancy telling the story to Bunny and Jack. Hmm, said Bunny. Jacks, she said. You know what this means? That that was a fast cat? Asked Jack. No, it means we have to visit the scene of the crime, said Bunny. On the 20th floor on the balcony. How do you think Jack feels right now? Do you think he wants to go on the balcony? I don't think so. Jack thought about it. Oh, I feel chilly, he said. Maybe you should go without me. Oh no, said Bunny, we're on a case. You have to be professional. How does he look to you? Does he look a little frightened? Look where Bunny put her chopsticks. Do you see them? They're right here in her pocket. I like pockets. Can I be professional on my balcony, asked Jack. You don't have a balcony, said Bunny. You have a yard. Exactly, said Jack. Oh, look what they're doing. Look at the button that Bunny is pushing. Where are they going? And look at, she has her arm around Jack. I don't think Jack wants to go, but Miss Nancy wants him. Did you hear that bell? That's the elevator coming. They got into the elevator with Miss Nancy. It started going up. Is anybody hungry, asked Jack. Oh, he did not want to get in that elevator. And do you see Bunny? She has her arm around Jack, so he doesn't be quite as afraid. She doesn't want him to be afraid. She's a good friend. Okay. Now we have to stop because chapter three is coming. We'll see you later.